Season two, we're starting off with Kevin. He's an actor's director. He cares about performance. You can tell he's from the theater because you hear these theater notes. He's brilliant, man. I'm the executive producer and director. I directed the premiere and I'll direct another episode and then I oversee all the other directors so that we keep the visual style consistent and the tone consistent. I really felt you had to constantly have a reference as to where these cars work. My main actors do drive, so they're all gonna be harnessed in, but they'll be going at a significantly slower speed. You know, everything will be about keeping my actors safe. We'll have stunt doubles. You know, you can't have a seven-month pregnant woman like rolling around in the back of a, of a station wagon. Not that Carla wouldn't have done that. <laughs> She's fearless, but uh, our stunt people are even more fearless. And obviously we'll have roll cages. We take care of them, make sure everybody's safe because we need their pretty little faces. RoboCop! <laughs> yeah, it's me, what the fuck? You know when you're going to be working with a director who's also an actor. He's going to be able to take you places that necessarily you didn't know that you could go. But with Peter, he's getting into your heart. Supplements, there's protein. This is vomit. Sorry. From neighborhood, right? JD has definitely been a catalyst for a lot of us as far as getting in shape. Have you seen JD? He walks in and forms, and he has his one vein. I think it has his own name. It looks like a rope. It's not fake, bro. That's a real shit right there. JD, bro, you're like, oh my god, like humans can look like that? It's like his shirt is pissed at his biceps, bro, because it's like they're just like ripping through his shirt and it's crazy. Hey, see if you're like your brother's bro, he ain't trying to kill me. Not today. Not today. <laughs> That we're working with Galindo's cartel. Galindo's got a lot of money, and I think he's got to fix our bikes and put some love into our bikes and make them look better. In East Los Angeles, I grew up with him. I, I knew this culture unlike anybody on the set. Richie Cabral, El Coco Loco. He's got this sick bike, man. The spokes, the rims, the fenders, the handlebars, everything gets customized in the specific Chicano way. <laughs> And I'm not sure about that E anymore. And hey, when are you guys going on tour? Uh, you guys can start like this. A little a whole comedy act. It's called like the love hate. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm all love. I'm all and, love. And, uh, this little cub here getting his full patch, baby. Yeah. What's up, it's man? It's gonna be amazing because yeah. you, know, you can't you can't order me around anymore. Ah, oh, shoot. I can hit back. Oh, Shucks. Back. Oh, gosh darn it. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Well, no more of the uh, cleaning and stuff? No, no more cleaning. No I'm, more I'll, cleaning be, the yeah, I'll be excited to get away from that. Yeah. I wonder who's going to be our new prospect. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. It was great to get the group together again and just share that space with each other. I really love these bastards. Like, I, I really do. Even Antonio, <laughs> you know, and his hair. I've seen him. Some of us get together for lunch or dinner or drinks. For me, living, you know, a thousand miles away, completely isolated, the table read just brought it all to the present moment. That was our, that's how we made ends meet. But you know, man, anywhere I'm at, if somebody's selling tomatoes, whether I'm hungry or not, or if I'm gonna eat them or not, I, I, I buy them, man, because I know I know this, what the struggle was for us, you know? So I know what it is to struggle. Gracias, senora, for the tomatoes, okay? Yeah, we buy them all the time. Got him looking, got him looking fresh. Look at that. Look, man. This is what he does. You got my money? This is what he does. I told you. You got my money? I'm not in your gym, bro. <laughs> I'm not using your gym. I don't want. What the fuck? <laughs> Isn't that just funny, dog? What the fuck are you going to? Oh, I saw your ass over the fucking corner. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get scared. Did you get scared? Did you get scared? Did you get scared? <laughs> Clayton is my favorite cutie. What's that? 
I'm sorry, say that again. She said you're you're her favorite cutie. Um Yo yo. Yo yo. Uh, so how's it feel like being here, bro? <laughs> Kitchen's detention center. I did time here multiple times. Did you grow from the experience? I did, I did. You know, and, and we're here today, right? So it was all it was all worth it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'm in there. Yeah, I'm in there. Right? I was in medium south, east max, and super max right here. Give a shout out oh. to the homies out there. Oh. <laughs> oh, can you see me, Joe? Live, I see you live. Mm-hmm. Driving by the city. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey. Hey. Oh, Where are we going, Joe? I believe we're going New York, right? No, I don't think so, man. No, New York, New York. N New, oh, New York, New York. I like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what's up, everybody? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, hit a bump, right. bro. So it's just a small bump. Hey, is it Antonio? Antonio? Are you coming, Antonio? Antonio, where you at? We need you here. Look at this guy. Oh, don't. Hey, stop touching the grass. Hey, bro, back up. Don't get on the grass, dog. Huh? Hey, hey, don't get on the grass, Pardo. Yeah, hey, 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 off the grass. I'm off the grass. Hey, hey, Rosie, wait, off the grass. Hey, I'm not on the grass, bro. Off the grass. I don't have the apes and any of that, and so this one feels like me. This shot is us not being normal. Working out together um, as a group definitely brings us together. You got this, boys. You get that shit. Get that shit, bro. Get that shit. You got that shit. Everyone kind of keeps each other in check, if you know. So I can't even sit down and enjoy a donut. It's like, we just finished that shot, and then I grab a donut, and I want to sit down. And then, okay, we're ready for you. What? I haven't even taken a bite out of my donut. Boys, but we got to get it done. It's going to go down right now. Who has been talking all this trash all season long? Cause he got lucky, cause I couldn't hit him. It's to put him on his back, he's done. Make him tap, he's done. To death, I'm sorry the show's over, fellas, cause he's done. Let's go! Get it on! You gotta come go! On. Let's go. <laughs> We could not have done this without you. Hopefully we get enough to do a season three. JD, say goodbye to the beautiful people. Goodbye. All right, that's it. That's, uh, he's, no he's a man of few words. I mean, what can I say? I'm more of a man of intellect. Right now. And I like to think of myself as very astute and proper and genuine. I'm more of a, you know, like a real man. All right, I gotta go. Stop yelling at me. <laughs>